In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called finding the asymptotes of a rational function quadratic over linear. Here we have the function f of x. And to start, I'll look to see if there are any vertical asymptotes. And we should recall that to find a vertical asymptote, we should first simplify if possible. In this example, I could try to factor that numerator and see if any of those factors canceled with the denominator. However, the x squared minus 5x plus 1 doesn't factor, so it is already in simplest form. So once we've confirmed that, our vertical asymptotes will be where that denominator equals 0. So here our denominator is x minus 3. If I set that equal to 0, I can solve for x by adding the 3 to both sides, and that gives us an x equals 3. So our vertical asymptote will be where x equals 3. So we found our vertical asymptote. I'll now move to horizontal asymptotes. And for horizontal asymptotes, we'll start by looking at the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator. In this example, the degree of the numerator is 2, and the degree of the denominator is 1. So having found those, I can tell that n is greater than m, and that when n is greater than m, there is no horizontal asymptote. However, there is one other possibility. We could have a slant asymptote, so a diagonal asymptote here, only occurs if the degree of the numerator is exactly one more than the degree of the denominator, which is the situation that we have here. The degree of the top is one more than the degree of the bottom. So we're going to do long division and omit the remainder. So first setting up the long division, I'll move this down just to give a bit more room. We'll start by looking at the leading terms here. We have x squared divided by x gives us x. So aligning my place values, I'll put that x over the first degree term. And now multiplying x times x gives us x squared, and x times minus 3, a minus 3x. We then change the signs and add. So changing the signs, when I add, the first term cancels. That was the intention. For the second part, minus 5x plus 3x equals minus 2x. Bringing down the next term, we can repeat that process again. Looking at the first terms, I have minus 2x divided by x. This time gives me a minus 2. So putting that in the top, I again multiply by minus 2 times x gives me a minus 2x. Minus 2 times a minus 3 gives me a plus 6. Changing the signs and adding cancels again and leaves me with a minus 5. So if I were to write this remainder, my minus and then 5 in the numerator, my x minus 3 in the denominator. As we plug in extreme values for x, both positive and negative, this is always going to be moving towards 0. Our slant asymptote is going to be the x minus 2. So graphing that has a y-intercept of minus 2 and a slope of positive 1. We have found all of the asymptotes for this function by looking for vertical, horizontal, and slant asymptotes. 